Y'all. Okay, y'all, this is Tony coming at y'all again. Now, I just watched a video of a young lady named Coco Girl, and she's currently in Jamaica. Now, I don't know what's going on, but her title says three females um, from Israel are running from war. And then there's another guy in Jamaica, also from Israel, and his name is Coco Boy. But he was hanging around a homeless girl that has a little bit of mental issues somewhere. I don't know what parish he was at, but I know he always go get to get her food and stuff like that. So what's going on in Jamaica? And like, is she truly homeless in Jamaica? And what is Jamaica government doing about stuff like this? Because if they are running from a war, does that mean Jamaica government will assist them with housing? Because this young lady is sleeping in her car. Y'all, watch this and get back to me. Because maybe I'm asking too many questions and I don't have the answers. But, hmm, let me see. Get back to me. Please get back to I'm me. Going with my new friend to the beach. So basically to looking for the leader of the ghetto because I want to get inside and I know that I need permission from the leader ghetto. Anyway, I just met this guy. Um, I love him. I really love him. I feel I feel him. I feel him. Uh, I will meet you in the in the end of the market where uh, where we was yesterday. How are you today? Why? It looks like everybody excited that we are going to get there. Yeah. It's like a movie, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Next time with, with your accent, your beautiful accent, it takes me time to understand. Yeah. So you, do you mean that I will go to greet them? No, they want my accent. They want to come. Come ah, to come me. with it. Of course! In the middle of nowhere, we just stop. Yeah, I think I think we can reach. No problem. No, I have a Jamaican husband. This is the vibe. Okay, so Jamaica, it's like it's Fuck like you. different culture and we need to understand. Yeah. So, yeah, so in the, different. In the start, when I come to here. Look at you. So many you see. I'm living here, you understand? Yeah. You know that I'm, I'm sleeping here where you're sitting? This is the way I'm sleeping. But where? Uh, it's challenge every day. I need to look in for other place, like safe, yeah. safe area. Yeah, yeah, I know, <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah. Anyway, mm. if you don't find the safest place, is gas station. You are right. You are or right, guys. Police station. I I also think about it, but you know what I can do? I can enter to resort parking. Ah. But they are not letting you in usually. It depends in the vibe. It depends how you smile really? to the guys or you are. Yeah, in. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true, you know. It's true. Welcome to Jamaica. Yeah. Where do you eat? Where do you want to eat? Over there, the bus stop eating. Over there? No, this one. Where? This one? Yeah, the one. On this side? On this side? This side. All right, let's do it. So, I'm, I'm you know, the, the, these videos are made for someone that can really help her that will find yeah, her yeah my, my cousin is in the wheelchair across from the the stoplight his name is glenn he's amputated two legs all the sudden and he's in them uh he's the one that grew me primary school basic school and everything so my mom died too late i'm supposed to go with the father but i don't like him okay y'all i know y'all just watched that now i got a little bit more excited than i was before because of what she said in that video now when you go and you spend your money at the resort and you think you're safe this chick just said depends on who's working in the security area they will allow her to drive in with her car really and they don't realize that she's there to sleep in the parking lot coca girl baby please go to the jamaican government and get some assistance I'm begging you and at least how is it that you need help and Coco boy is busy trying to feed homeless people in Jamaica but you yourself is homeless why can't you stay with him and how 
is it that you couldn't stay with the two young ladies? Because the younger one, when you said to her that you sleep in your car, she asked you where. Like, you can't stay with them? Like, seriously? So you're telling me that all you guys are coming from Israel, right? And you guys are there together. And here you are all struggling together. Well, it looks like you're the only one struggling, to be honest with you. But you don't have nobody there. But you're just trying to get your little contents going. But you're on the beach. You're conversating with all these guys and look like you're desperate. I just posted a video not too long ago with all the crimes and stuff happening in the Jamaica, baby. Coco girl, I don't know you, but please, I am begging you, go to the Jamaican government and try to get some assistance. Don't stay in the street sleeping in your car. What will happen if you're approached by anybody and then your friend tell you sleep in the gas station? Uh-huh. And you call her your sister? Y'all... Leave a comment. Tell me what y'all think about this. Because this is foolery. And y'all have yourself a great, awesome, wonderful day. And thank you guys for coming back. Hmm. This one right here. Y'all, I wasn't ready for this. I'll talk to y'all later.